Deer versus Dark. Dark. <laughs> you like that ID? Uh, you know, to be totally honest, I'm not crazy of, about either of these IDs. Well, Deer, Deer is a bad ID. But Deer, I'm not. Yeah, I, 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 don't I mean, think Deer. I'm not going to sugarcoat this one. That's I would not actually a good be happy if it was D E E R. <laughs> yeah, that would be a that really would good be much idea. Better, yeah. Like just naming yourself after like an animal that's not fearsome. Yeah. It's not like a popular animal. It's not even like a cute animal. It's like, like actually platypus. something that gets hunted. Just, yeah. You know, it's yeah. But see, look, see. This person that's got the it. type of deer. That's I like. the kind of deer I'm looking for. Yeah. But that would be a cool ID. Maybe that's a stag. It's like, so you named yourself Sparathia. after a deer. Do you like to hunt? Is a deer an animal you like? You're like, yeah, you know, I it's don't just know, man. It's an animal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not even that exotic. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to make an animal name, I think it would be emu. Is that because you look like an emu? <laughs> <laughs> Try to think of what animal name I would be. What, what, what animal? You'd would be I? jackal. Jackal. <laughs> <laughs> jackal. <laughs> I'm like, I would be wolf. <laughs> um, all right, so we have uh, Zerg just taking his second so far, and the Protoss going for fast gas, which it probably will expand off of shortly after that. That's right. Well, uh, we'll see how this goes with uh, what the strategy Deer wants to pull off here. We haven't seen Protosses take plenty of third bases on this map uh, recently. Dark right now, just getting his gas up. Wants to get that zergling speed right away. What, what, what are the best IDs that StarCraft Pro Gamers have had? <coughs> okay, so... Uh, best. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's think the card about this one. Um, Boxer is actually a really good idea. I think Slayer's Boxer is a good idea. I don't think Boxer... Is well, Slayer's is a clan tag, so... Well, it was. It is now. It wasn't at the time. At the yeah. time, it was actually his ID was just Slayer's Boxer. Yeah, I know that's his ID now, so... No, but I mean, his original ID was just Slayer's Boxer. It wasn't a plan yet. No. I like that, just because that's like, so out there. It's a, I like it. It's a good one. It's a good one. What um, else is there? I always thought Elky was kind of a cool ID. I'm not crazy about the ID Gur, actually. No, no, I don't uh, like that one as much. Sorry, Gyom. No. We like you, but... No. Um, what else? What else? What else is solid? Um, hmm. I think Keen. That fits him Keen? really well, that yeah, idea. Keen's not bad. Yeah. Tastes and Artosis are by far the best. Oh, obviously. Oh, my God. Keen even so there. good. Wow, that's... That I hate it when that happens. That probe got checked, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, that is a very frustrating thing when that happens. Now, we yeah. actually have the Roach Warren being made very quickly. He's continued to mine gas. Dark, is this your strategy a for today? in the Matrix? Deja vu, you say? <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, well, we'll see if it works out, because this is a pretty big ramp that he has to hold. I make roaches all day, mm. flings all day, cross my fingers. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, that's a really good rap song. That's a good song. rap song, man. Wow. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. It's like, Roach Warren almost time. We're going to have to call you, like, Tasteless Smalls or something. <laughs> MC Tasteless. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, here's here's some interesting things about this Roach Rush compared to the last one. Uh, it's Roach Rushes can be kind of good on a big ramp because you get a bunch of them up there that yeah, can shoot once. You get a wide berth there. Yep, they got a lot of surface area. And the reason why it didn't work on Habitation Station is because it's so close to the Nexus. Here, Nexus does not cover the uh, ramp. Not at all. Like, the Roaches can, well, I mean, if he scouts us, that's going to be bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, you kidding me? No! Well, now Deer might... The bridge wasn't finished up there. He couldn't turn around. <laughs> Uh, well, Deer might uh, have an inkling of what's going on. Let's see if he starts a Void Ray or an Oracle. And he actually starts a Phoenix, Phoenix so that's, that's not the good. least useful yeah. one. <laughs> Lift up a Roach or something, I don't know. Like, uh, But okay, so this this actually has potential to possibly work. There's a couple of very weak points in this wall in the two pylons. Uh, it's far away from the Nexus. He's making Phoenixes, which aren't going to help at all. So, I mean, this this might just end. Yeah, there's, there's potential for this. We'll see how it goes. And see this? He gets a lot of surface area here going right after that pylon. He's got the force field this other uh, location. Well, that's what? it, I guess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's well, going to lose. Well, get rid of the two pylons here. The warp gates won't yeah. be powered. Uh, the next cannon will eventually. Now, here's the important part of it, because he is, like, getting ahead at this moment. Oh, look at this. this. He's actually just going to go around. Yeah, it looks like he just wants to go right up the ramp. Does actually snipe off that sentry, but the force field gets off. 
A uh, couple links up there are going to prevent any walling from happening. Well, and he's just continuing to make links. Thing is, there's no gateways to actually warp units in, so this is like probes fighting this. Nexus, but yeah. Uh, but one gate is like not, not even. Enough. He yeah. warps in a zealot. Yeah, okay, zealot, good work. <laughs> good luck, zealot. Nope, not going to do it. Uh, so this time, they were actually working very, very well. Yeah, I mean, from here, as long as Dark executes this uh, fine, he should win this. I mean, this, the, the amount of damage Deer is uh, taking is absolutely incredible here. I guess he's got that going for him, but uh, beyond that, yeah, it's, it's basically done. So we'll be going into game number three here shortly. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, the Nexus Cannon goes back up. A couple Void Rays are starting to kill off a lot of lanes, but with the amount of probes that he's killed, he's down to 14 probes. He's having a hard time even holding his main Nexus at the moment. I don't care how many overlords that, that Phoenix kills, it's not yeah. going to be enough to really get him back in here. And notice how drones are being started as well. He's he's saying, all right, I'm... I'm, I'm ahead enough. Yeah, I'm ahead enough. Now time to get further ahead instead of just throwing away units all game. Um, so, I mean, from here, this is an impossible mountain for deer to climb, basically. It's Pretty tough one. Um, but, I mean, Deer is one of the best Protosses in the whole world, and Protoss is pretty good right now. So, um, well, now I see more problems now. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's pretty rough, man. The fact that he's running those away, oh my god, just, oh, everything is gross. Um, <clears throat> well, I think we're going to see a GG out of Deer pretty soon here. Like, there's not even an attack that he can plan to make this work, I don't yeah. think. Um, well, this is a good pick here for Dark. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a third game where he does this. But well, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> that's where I'm dead wrong. Yeah, I wonder what map that we're going to see here out of uh, Deer. Probably a bit bigger one. Uh, maybe, well, no, actually I would say go with Yansu. Yeah, Yansu wouldn't be a bad pick. Yeah, and I don't think that Dark's strategy is something I would suggest him to use on Yansu. Habitation Station and, uh, of course, Daedalus Point. Well, Habitation Definitely going to be a Station, bit better. It might be a bust. You know? I don't know. Habitation Station is kind of an interesting map, but I, I like that he chose to use that same strategy again here, where you know some of the things that saved Deer on Habitation Station absolutely would not work. Got the Void Rays coming up here now. Void um, Rays looking to get lucky. Yeah. 27 to 45 here for the working cap with Protoss in the deficit. So, um, I mean, th there's just so many options available here. Um, looks like he's going to try to get the hatchery, but the queens are up here, so he's going to kite that. Mm, I, don't I don't think he's going to be able so. to get this. Yeah. As it does finish up the creep around, it's going to help these queens. Oh, nice. Uh, Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, third queen is coming out right now. And, you know, he gets the one with a ton of energy, which is really quite nice. He could pick up this next... Uh, he could if he wants to. Okay, there he goes. And now he's going to get another queen here. Now, there should be a queen popping out of this uh, hatchery here. I believe the Phoenix will have one more pickup. Hmm. And this, this is actually really good. This is really definitely good. something, you know? Yeah, this is like yeah. actually... It's actually quite impressive the amount of damage he's getting done here. Look at this. He's forcing all these kills and cancels on these spore crawlers. Okay, now we have two more queens here. One of these void rays is very injured, but it looks like it should just barely live. Uh, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, I need to so get the spore crawler. Well, now it's going okay, down. Okay, now it goes down. You know what? This is like so many queens that he's killed off, and in the meantime, Dark failed, going for counterattack. Failed counterattack, mind you. I'm, you know, this is like... Dark right now has to be a little bit unhappy with himself. So. Oh. Because, wow, 30 Drunk kills. Drove that <laughs> way right into that. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, this is like, that was a little bit sloppy that he let this happen. He knew how many Void Rays there were. Yeah. And the fact that he like walked down with two and just tried to make them go away. It was a little bit, a little bit cocky almost. All right, well, now, you know, this is... Deer is fighting back a bit. His probe count is back up to something much more reasonable. Sitting there at 49 probes at the moment. An army of similar sizes. And he is making that immortal unit. Goes well with the sentry unit. It's good against those roach units. overall, pretty good unit. I give it two thumbs up. Yeah. And, uh-uh. Can't build that on that kind of foundation. No, you don't want zerglings in your floorboards. There you that's go. for yeah, sure. That's for, that's for damn they sure. They were some termites. No, <laughs> they're much worse. Yeah. Much more damage. 
Um, Salib Zerber will have to uh, make a turn over here to the right. Now, I, I gotta say, uh, I'm pretty impressed with actually how much damage uh, he did do with the two Void Rays and the Phoenix, yeah. considering. It was uh, and also, that coupled with Dark's bungled counter. You know what it um, reminded me of a lot, actually? What? Like, that little harassment, the two Void Rays, one Phoenix. Uh, it reminded me of, like, a Reaver drop in StarCraft 1, where, like, yeah. It's not hard to know exactly what to do, but then you just but execute it, it perfectly, and it it's like, might. well, this is exactly how much damage that this can do. And he basically got maximum damage yeah. out of those three units. Like, yeah. uh, it, you know, it's he got a, he got a, a good setup in the opening there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like a reaver drop in Starcraft One, it it will actually do it's such an incredible amount of damage. Yeah, if your opponent missteps, it can it can do wonders, and that's kind of what happened there. So we do have some Hydras and Roaches coming down. Now, the supply count here uh, definitely favoring the Zerg. Let's see if he executes this right. Uh, no, he's, he's spreading them really well, so I think it's going to be fine. There are five sentries, so we'll see if he gets perfect force fields here. I don't know if it's... That's such an arc. Yeah, it's quite hard to beat. Zerg's actually really micro himself into that corner, but the spread here is just pretty good uh, for Dark. Well, Deer's microing very, very well, keeping these two Colossi alive. So one finally does go down. The other one there's should be falling pretty quickly. There's nothing to support the Colossi is the problem. Yeah. And that is going to be uh, all she wrote, I think. The third is shut down. Yeah. Deer taps out. GG as we go into game number three between these two. Well, uh, a good win there by Dark. But you know what? He almost fell apart to just a couple of Void Rays in the Phoenix. So he's going to be careful about that. And he's going to have to play a different on the next map as well. He yeah. cannot do that again, especially since Deer is not going to pick a map where that's going to be a usable strat. So, uh, you know, I think both players played pretty well back there. But, um, yeah, I want to see how uh, Jerk plays if he goes into a more standard CDP. Mm -hmm. how, how does he perform? Yeah. yeah, I'd quite like to see that as well.